here with Evers Anderson. You're back at XKO, man. How you feeling? Man, feeling good, feeling great, baby. Ready to run it back. Trying to go uh, undefeated, 3-0. You'll be facing Omar Benjar. How you feeling you match up with him? Um, I think it'll be a good fight. Um, I plan on taking advantage of uh, staying on, keeping it on the feet, uh, going down to the ground if it need be, uh, utilizing my ground and pound. Um, I haven't watched much footage on him, but from what I have seen, um, I think I can expose him in you know, certain parts of his game. And uh, come July 13th, you know, have the uh, whole city of Dallas and see it. How's the training going out there at uh, Guy Messer's gym? Uh, our training is always the A1, man. We do a lot of wrestling base, uh, a lot of boxing, a lot of kickboxing. Uh, those are my fundamental bases um, anyhow, so I fit real good in there. Um, I'm not really into gym hopping. I'm pretty low to the gym. And, uh, you know, getting better every week, man. Um, Guy Metzger, he's uh, well known. Uh, you ever look into his history, like, you know, the Lions did, and, uh, you know, how he got brought up with uh, Ken Shamrock, and, uh, you know, now he's a coach. Do you see some of those things that, you know, he, he might have been taught uh, teaching the young? Um, absolutely, man. I was a. Uh, I feel like I was drawn to guys, Jim. Um, I always tell the story to him when I was, uh, I'm from Michigan, and I remember when I was in, uh, I think like ninth or 10th grade, they had a, a video game out Pride, and he was on there. And I had the, and I used to use him on the on the game, you know, when I moved to Dallas, I had no idea he was from here. So when I realized, you know, when I was Googling local MMA gym and seeing Guy Mesker, I just went back to being a kid, and I was like, oh man, you know, it was only fate. <laughs> you know, I was like, I'm totally going there. And ever since then, man, we've been off and running. Uh, was it a disappointment he didn't have the ponytail anymore? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, when I met him, man, he looked just like on the video game, but bigger. I was like, man, this is you. <laughs> yeah, so uh, meeting him and then, uh, you know, him having, uh, as a coach, how did that relationship build? Um, it took a while. Uh, if you know Guy Mesger, if you ever meet him, um, he personifies, you know, a, a true martial arts man. He walks the walk, he talks the talk. Uh, when you meet him, he just... You know, that vibe, that aura he gives off. And uh, he takes some, some getting used to. Uh, but after, you know, a couple of years, you know, showing my consistency, training, you know, every day in the gym, you know, he finally gave me that shot, and uh, I wasn't going to waste it. How's um, the training for this uh, camp going up there? Um, training's going good. Uh, I've been training, honestly, about every day for the past, you know, a couple, about a month or two, because we were, we were going to fight uh, a couple months back, but that kind of fell through. Um, I always kind of live on the principle, stay ready so you don't have to get ready, you know. So we just make sure we stay in shape. Then once we get that contract, we tighten things up and, you know, turn it up a little bit. Uh, you'll be fighting on the same card with your teammates. How does uh, having teammates fight on the same card help you? Uh, I love it, man. There's nothing uh, better than, you know, getting that team camaraderie together, you know, building up your energy together, and then, you know, we're, we're here for the same same agenda. You know, once you get in that cage, it's just you and that opponent, the person in front of you, and. You know, at that point, you know, you leave us and you gotta go do your thing, baby. Um, you know, you uh, you two know, you know, how active you want to be this year? Man, Joe, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to get about four, five fights this year, but uh, you know, it's gonna be July, halfway through the year, uh, so come, uh, I'd like to get, you know, squeeze in about three more, you know, get maybe two in this next quarter, and one at the end, so hopefully at least three by the end of the year. And uh, when you get a fight, is that uh, picked through? Uh, Coach, or how, how does that work? Um, honestly, you know, it's a it's a team process. You know, Guy and Audrey are mainly, you know, the ones that, you know, kind of people reach out to. Um, they have that, that history here in Dallas, and uh, they have their good networking skills. And, you know, just a respectable guy, Audrey as well. They're both stand-up people. So uh, people usually reach out to them, you know, then we'll converse, converse amongst the group. Sounds awesome, man. Um, so what can the fans expect when you see Eagles back in there? Oh, baby. Man, you already know what it is, man. We we squad one, you know, we're going in there, we control in the cage. You know, it's gonna be an exciting fight. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show up A1 shape, you know, what real martial artists should do. Show up fight night and you know, put my helmet on, baby. Any shout outs you wanna give out to uh, family, friends, or something? Um, absolutely, uh, my Lord and Savior first, uh, God above. Uh, nothing without him. Uh, my family, uh, my girl Stephanie, she holds me down every night. The recovery always there. And then, uh, you know, just all my people at the gym, got mess with Combat Sports Club. We're here, baby. There you go. Evis Anderson, he's, he's ready. He's looking to go 3 0. July 13th, Saturday, Gas Monkey Live for the next Gale Summer Match. You don't want to miss this fight. Hey, Evis, we appreciate the time. Best of luck to you. Thanks, brother.